welcome back to another episode of Feral's Blind Reactions. And if anyone is wondering why I've taken to wearing proper collared long-sleeved shirts today, uh, lately, it's because of this. Yeah, I have a, a tattoo which features a lot of green. It's actually a My Little Pony tattoo, so yeah. But of course, while I'm doing these things, if I have it on display, then it basically cuts out huge swaths of my arm for whatever footage I put behind me. I mean, for wherever I'm filming the current episode. So yeah, it's, it's a magic thing, obviously, not camera trickery, it's just magic. But yeah, I have to keep the tattoo covered. So um, yeah, there we go. That's why I've taken to almost looking presentable. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming back. Let's uh, let's start today's episode with the washouts, which uh, I will say I know is a Rainbow Dash episode. That's it. That's all I know. Um, presumably, it's going to have something to do with people failing at the Wonderbolts Academy. So uh, yeah, let's get to the watching and the saying of bizarre things and see if I am right, which I think I might. Ham sandwich? No? Okay. <laughs> and once again, it's a meeting of the Rainbow Dash fan club where she happens to be watching. That concludes this meeting of the Rainbow Dash fan club. Thank you all for coming. Any questions? Oh. Huh? Uh, yeah, she seems to be phoning it. Okay, what's she trying to hurry along here? I'd like to call to order the first ever meeting of the newest and most Ooh. Of which I am the president, founding, and only member, the Washouts Fan Club! What? <gasps> uh, um, yeah, I actually don't know what's going on here. Um, apparently it's not about someone failing the Wonderbolts Academy. It's a new performance troupe called the Washouts? Maybe made up? Of the ponies who failed at the Wonderbolts Academy? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh! Wow, she really likes them. Did I interrupt your fan club meeting? Hey! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Wow. Okay, calm, chillax, Rainblam. I heard everything when I was outside eavesdropping like I do for every meeting. <laughs> you eavesdrop on every meeting? That's... Weird. That is kind of creepy. Why are you starting a new fan club? Why are you starting a new fan club? What, because people can't be fans of more than one thing? Because I'm a fan of My Little Pony, I can't watch Family Guy anymore? How can I explain it? Like the Wonderbolts, just 20 bajillion percent cooler! Woo! They do all sorts of extreme stunts to focus on daredevilry and sheer guts, rather than boring old blight and formation junk. Boring old blight and formation junk? Yeah, two different disciplines. You can't really say one is boring and the other isn't. I'm definitely not worried about her looking up to some pony else. <laughs> nope, not Uh, that. Rainbow, oh. your insecurities are showing. It'd be like if Apple Bloom started loving bananas more than apples. <laughs> Y'all tell me if that ever happens, you hear? <laughs> okay, um, I'm not really sure what the undertones there were, but I don't think they were friendly. Wow, they do look pretty amazingly unamazing. <laughs> Trying so hard to look amazing is what I mean. I say, Twilight! <laughs> Pinky thinks she's whispering, which of course, because Pinky thinks that's the case, no one else heard that. Because quantum physics. Sorry, I said the Q word. I, It comes up from time to time. I'm sorry for making this late. Who would have guessed extreme chocolate air show cupcakes would take an <laughs> Extreme chocolate cupcakes. Look at what we're sitting on. Hello! The Wonderbolts have bleachers too. We practically invented sitting on bleachers. Oh, Rainblam, you are clutching at straws here. And look at that! Popcorn and cotton candy. Rip up! I'm going to stop doing that. For what it's worth, I was, I was just playing with a, uh, a battery pack there. I, I, it wasn't what it looked like. I'm going to throw that over there now. That sounds like Iron Will. Is this an Iron Will plan, or is that just coincidence because they've used the same VA? Say it with me now. The 
Russia's official motto. Sounds like a daredevil standard, really. Okay, who are they really? That's a saw blade! That is a saw blade! What is that gonna come into? Where is that gonna feature? I'm a little worried about that. Wow! That's several saw blades! Whoa! See, I know this is a cartoon and that had me excited. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Who are these guys? Oh, wow. Do we now have a new... Okay, apparently they're no one special, so... I can't just go up and talk to them. You had no problem talking to Rainbow Dash. You know, she was your idol first. <laughs> Now, I was going to say, though, are we going to have a new troop that Rainbow Dash wants to join? But, to be fair, probably not. She may be a bit of a, a daredevil adrenaline junkie, but she's not stupid. She has a plan before she jumps into everything. No, she doesn't. That was ridiculous. I honestly don't know where that thought came from. We're called the washouts because we all used to be Wonderbolts, just Ooh. like you. Stray a pound. If doing barrel rolls through 900 million volts of electricity in a raging thunderstorm is wrong, then I don't want to be right. I'm presuming that's how you got those nazi snazzy scars? So, who's the leader? Only the most reckless ex Wonderbolt of all time. Oh boy. Yeah! There we go. Lightning dust. Rainbow dash. <laughs> Scootaloo. I Scootaloo. Hi. <laughs> right, I really should have guessed, shouldn't I? I should have known you were the brains behind a crazy idea like the washouts. Or should I say, lack of brains? She did seem to show a disregard for safety and every other regulation. Your friend got me kicked out of the Wonder Bolts. No, you got you kicked out of the Wonder Bolts. She just kind of did what she had to do. Was it wrong of me to endanger the lives of your friends? Yeah. At least she can admit it. Now I only endanger these knuckleheads. Who seem to be all up for it, so... Come on, you know you miss win -win, me. Win-win, it seems. You know you miss me. No, new awesome troop who seem to have flagrant disregard for their own safety. Kind of something I can, uh, I can sympathize with. Everyone should be happy. Well, Glad it all worked out. Your show was pretty dynamite. Yeah, they seem to be getting on pretty well now. Basically ignore everything the Wonder Bolts ever taught us about safety. Well, we do have safety rules for a reason. Stop it! Just stop. Um, well, yeah, but again, like I say, the only people that these guys are endangering are themselves. And when you're kind of a daredevil troop, that's... Kind of what you have to do. I mean, okay, they might be taking it to extremes in that they're in severe actual danger, and most Daredevil troops, it's at least some degree of safety going on. Okay, things can go wrong all the time, but for the most part, there are fail-safes in place. There's a spot on the team if you want to join up. I'll do it! Can I do it? Uh, let me think. No. No, no, no. No, don't, no. I wasn't asking you! D no. If she says... Technically, you haven't washed out of the bolts, which is kind of our thing. Right, okay, at least they've got that sort of uh, that sort of moral fibre to say no. That the kid wasn't going to take part in that. Ever seen two simultaneous inverse displacement rolls before? <laughs> Would have been a lot cooler through the crushinator jaws of smash a lot patent pending. You what? Wow, okay, so yeah, she's actually gone off the Wonder Bolts. Not uncommon, it's the sort of thing that happens, you know, when something great comes along and you're a huge fan of it and then something even cooler comes along and you kind of lose interest in the first thing, but it doesn't have to happen. Pretty hard to stunt tricks in a full body wing and hook it through a straw! I think she 
gets the point. I'm not finished! Wow, okay, she's really go pulling out all the stops to put her off this idea. That's actually a point as well that Scoots can't fly, so she'd have to sort of be the ground-based member of this flying daredevil troop. Go on, make myself clear! <laughs> Excellent. Whoa, she clearly actually doesn't know that Scoots can't fly, because otherwise she wouldn't have just dropped her, hopefully. You can follow in my hoofsteps. <laughs> Every pony's dream, right? More like follow your wing flaps. <laughs> Thanks, super talented flyer, for clearing up what I should do. Clearing things up is one of my specialties. Now come on, oh, let's go rip okay, up all your yeah. washout posters into tiny pieces and throw them off a Um, come on, no, you can surely understand why she can still be a fan, but don't, don't, don't let her join. So, yeah, don't let her join, that's fine, but let her be a fan. Scootaloo? Uh, Scootaloo? Yeah, where is she going? What's she doing? She my didn't. Bob, bob. Sorry, she didn't I... go to join, did she? Uh... <laughs> you were lucky you didn't bump a little bit lower, otherwise you would have lost an eye just then. Please tell me you got that stuff so you could rip it up and throw it off a cliff. You were enjoying this yourself recently. Okay, I can see why you'd be a little bit suspicious because... A little bit off because Scoots wanna join, wants to join, but... Like, the harder I try to convince Scoot they're dangerous, the more she likes them. You can't control her actions. Only yours. Yeah, because that's what kids do. I can kind of understand where, why she doesn't understand this, because her parents were so supportive, overly supportive, of everything she did. So she never really had to rebel to want to do the dangerous stuff. Sorry, Dash. Autograph session's over. Unless you want to buy Short Fuse's limited edition half-eaten tomato sandwich. I'm not signing that abomination! <laughs> I kind of like him. You haven't seen Scootaloo, have you? Isn't she that pony that used to respect you? Wow. There really is still some, uh, some hard feelings there. Oh, I'm pretty sure she still likes us. Oh god, they let her join. No, they really are. They they really have no moral fiber. They are letting her join. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Do you not remember what Spitfire said? Ugh, let me guess. You'll be in a full body wing and hook cat drinking through a straw. Yeah, that's because she might actually end up like that. Based on your definition of what makes some pony great. <sighs> but not being able to fly doesn't mean I can't do something awesome, like strapping my scooter to a multi-stage liquid fuel rocket and jumping 22 wagons lined up in front of a roaring crowd. That was awfully specific. You're insane. They have driven her insane. Half off for princesses. Bring your friends. You're going to let her do that? I get that she's got a disregard for safety, but this is going to kill her. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. You're right. You're your own fool, and you have to make your own decisions. Oh! Oh! Dash has been destroyed. She's... She's devastated. Oh. This is devastated. No, you, you don't give up. She's your sister. She, for all intents and purposes. She, she, I lost her words. Lost her words. Um, not good for someone who needs to talk about things, but yeah, I, actually, I, I... Oh, I can't formulate the words that say how terrified I am about this situation and I, I need to see I need to see this fixed. The newest member of the washouts will be rocket sledding down that hill. Up that ramp and over all twenty two wagons. Okay, come on. Um there's gotta be a way to explain to her that the the Dash was only doing what she was doing because she loves her. Um she's only doing this to rebel at the moment. This has got to be it. Um and okay, Dash was going about putting her off the wrong way, but... No, you you can't actually be there to support her. This is a real honor, ma'am. Uh, do we call you ma'am? You and this jump? You can call me whatever you want. Oh... Has any 
Pony Pony tested it before? Where's the fun in that? Now she sees. Now she sees what's going on here. She's... You're not thinking of backing out, are you? No! Mm, hopefully she is. Are you the president of my fan club or not? Of course! It's just you wouldn't want to get impeached for dishonoring my wishes, would you? She is truly evil. You know who I am thinking about backing out. I mean, we've seen villains before. Too late! Who are evil, 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 but she is willing to let a child take this risk. Oh! No! Actually doing it! Um, okay, someone's gonna save her. There we go, good, good. I knew I was supposed to let you make your own decisions, but that doesn't mean I can't swoop in and save you from time to time. Oh. Oh. If I'd known you were gonna bail, I would have done the trick myself. So you won't mind how that rope's about to coil around your hook. What? Oh boy, bye bye. I think that was a Pokemon reference there. She didn't care about me being scared or putting me in danger. She only wanted a good show, even if it meant I got hurt. That's not the kind of pony I want to look up to. I mean, they're, what, the equivalent of low teens now? So, yeah, she was going to let a young kid go through that and risk her life. I know a fan club that could use some new members. The Rainbow Dash fan club. <clears throat> Welcome to the first oh, okay. meeting of the newest <laughs> This is kind of heartwarming now. Previously underappreciated pony in Ponyville. It's the Scootaloo Fan Club! Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay, that's really kind Rainbow of sweet. Dash was right. Eavesdropping on your own fan club isn't weird at all. <laughs> okay, that... Oh, that was a brilliant episode, and talk about a roller coaster. <sighs> okay, yeah, I, I kind of presumed that... Uh, Dashi was going to come in and uh, save her at the last second there, but there was still that little bit of me questioning that. Wow. Okay, yeah. Let me just formulate my thoughts for a second, because there's still a lot of turmoil going on in there. So yes, okay, I was right that it was about washouts from the, thun from the Wonderbolts, although I didn't suspect that it would be washouts from the Wonderbolts who'd have made their own troop that was willing to risk the life of a kid. Oh, but yeah, what we saw there, that, that was amazing. That Rainbow Dash trying to protect someone who might as well be her sister in all but blood now. And okay, maybe going about it a bit the wrong way, getting a bit pushy and uh, ending up forcing her to rebel and go down that route anyway and then the, the the demoralization the heartbreak when she realized that this little kid no longer looked up to her in the way she used to and not just that but she didn't even want her protection anymore because i think that's what dash has liked for a long time about scoots well, one of the main things is that she needed her and then to feel like that that need was no longer there, that she didn't need her to look after her, because I, I imagine, I, I can't speak for certain, but I imagine that one of a parent's greatest worries is the day that their kid no longer needs them, and they, you can't deny, they've, they have got that sort of parent-child bond, although again, like sisters, but parent child i i don't know they're close they're very close and yeah scoots said that she no longer needed rainbow dash and couldn't look up to her in the way she used to because she can't ever be her of course as we have seen she doesn't need to fly to be awesome you know we've seen the things she can do with that scooter even without a three-stage liquid fuel rocket. I mean, she got ahead of the of the Ponyville flag waving team without needing to fly, and we saw that there was a whole big thing about that. But wish, I will admit that when the oh, let's get rid of the tattoo when the uh, season 
returned with Yakety Sax and A Matter of Principles, I thought it had started a little bit weak. Now we're seeing character progression and this has just gone through the roof. I will admit I am biased. I, I, I like any Scoot Stash episode because they've just got that bond that you can't help but love. And in this one, where you saw that bond tested and growing on screen in front of you, that just so oh, right here, right in the heart, right in the feels. <sighs> but those washouts actually willing to risk the life of a child that's wow i so i would say that i can't believe even lightning dust would be willing to do that but we've seen what she's capable of before so yeah i'm honestly not surprised and if there is anything <laughs> <laughs> that some sort of regulator needs to come down on. It's that. Because that cannot be allowed. People are in danger enough in Equestria. Out. Sorry, something in my eye. People are in danger enough in Equestria every day. So you don't need a daredevil troop coming along and putting the children in danger. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's there's not a lot more I can think of to say in this episode <laughs> that I haven't already said. But yeah, this is one that I'm going to be watching again several times. And I would advise you to do so too. Well... Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time with I don't know what it's going to be because I haven't seen the episode title yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, sorry, got a bit lost in thought there. It's unfamiliar territory, I'm sure I've mentioned that before. Yes, thank you for watching, I will see you next time. Everybody be good. Bye-bye.